All right, so this solution will also work with border radius, which is something that other solutions have not managed to solve. So what I have here is just an HTML boilerplate, and the only thing I have here is just a div with a class of box. All right, so this box here is 200 by 300, has a background color, and that's basically it here. Now, I've also... Uh, added a very typical CSS reset, right? Because browsers add some default styling to a lot of elements. And usually we don't want that. We want to start from a clean slate so we can select all elements, remove all the margin, remove all the padding. And we usually also set the box sizing property to border box. This is actually very difficult to understand. It's the most difficult property in CSS. I have a separate video on this. Um, it's not really important to understand this, but um, this is very typically included as well. Now, Without this padding here, it's going to sit against the edge of the viewport, right? So I'm just going to add some padding to the body that doesn't sit against the edge. So now let's say we want a gradient border around this box, right? Maybe you have a different element. It will work with any other element as well. And the best way to do this is actually with a pseudo element. So what we're going to do is we're going to say box. And we have before and after pseudo elements. Both will work. Now you always have to use the content property. In this case, we're not gonna insert any text or something like that. We're just gonna style this like a, well, basically it's just gonna be an element behind this box, right? And of course the majority of it's gonna be hidden because this box is on top of it, but then some part of it will be visible and that's gonna look like a border. So, and actually before we do anything with border radius, let's just see if that works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say background linear gradient, right? So we could say, for example, to right, and actually I don't want, I want this to wrap to right maybe from black to green yellow that's the gradient right the size it needs to be well it needs to span all the way from top to bottom left to right so we can say uh, position absolute right because it's gonna have to sit below it right so it's gonna have to be taken out of the normal flow and then it should sit uh, zero pixels from the left and top and from the right and bottom as well all right, let's see what we get. Okay, so then um, we get this massive gradient. So when you use position absolute, usually it's a good idea to specify relative to what, right? So zero pixels from the top, but the top of what exactly? Well, it should be this box and not and not the viewport or the, the body or the HTML element, which is what we have now. Okay, so then it actually sits on top. It should sit below the uh, the element right so we can say z index minus one okay so now it's perfectly sitting behind it so now we don't see anything but you can use a negative margin here and that's going to be the size of the border right so if you use negative five it's going to basically expand a little bit and this is what you get this is basically a gradient border and let me actually zoom in a little bit and the, the bigger you make that number or the more negative you make it the bigger the gradient border will be right and you can also use border radius here right so you can also say border radius um let's actually do it on the on the blue box first so, so maybe this this box has a border radius right maybe it has something like 15 pixels of border radius and now we also want the border of course to have that border radius now it, it's a little bit bigger Right, so if you do this, it's going to be not curved enough because it, the element itself is a little bit bigger. So generally speaking, you're going to have to make this a little bit bigger and fine tune it a little bit to see um, what would be a good match here. So I think this looks good. This is as good as it's going to get for a gradient border. There's not really an, a clean solution right now in CSS to do this, but... Um, you know, we've worked our way around it. Right, so it's really important as a front-end developer that you have mastered CSS. So definitely check out my CSS course if you really want to take it to a professional level. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.